So, here comes the first of our 50 world records tonight. It's the record for the fastest speed abseil and trying to break it. Will you please welcome Steve Trulia? Steve, that, that wasn't it, was it? No, that was just me showing off. All oh, right, good. <laughs> now, listen, Steve, I am absolutely terrified of heights. Uh, is, is it as dangerous as it looks? Oh, it's dreadfully dangerous. Yes, it can be dangerous, but we try to make it as safe as possible. All right, and do you ever get nervous at all? Yeah, if I'm telling the truth, I'd like to be macho and say no. But, yeah, of course, when you're dangling from a height, especially 400 feet, it gets a little oh, bit dear. adrenaline. Well, I tell you what, abseiling into our studio here is easy peasy for a guy like Steve. So, for his record attempt, we sent him off to the middle of London with our world records reporter, Jane Sharp. 35 storeys high, centre point stands at one end of Oxford Street in the heart of London's West End shopping district. I'm halfway up centre point, one of the tallest buildings in central London. Now, up at the top, somebody is preparing to attempt the fastest 100 metre abseil from a building. If you suffer from vertigo, I suggest you look away right now. The night before I think about it in my sleep, you know, you kind of wake up sometimes, you run it through in your mind. I think it's normal to be nervous. In fact, I think it's probably a bit dangerous if you're not nervous. <laughs> the device that I'll use to slow me down, the descending device or descender, uh, will get very hot because of the friction. If I get jammed on the rope, that could melt the rope. So that's one of the biggest dangers there, being hung up, being burnt by the rope, because the rope's 100 metres of rope travelling at 30, 40 or 50 miles an hour through my hands. It's going to create a lot of friction. There's always that niggle, the little devil comes out on your shoulder and says, what if the rope breaks? What if the rig breaks? I'm not happy about that at all there. I wanted the rope to go right in the middle of the boxes to ensure that I hit the boxes, because I'll be going so fast at the bottom I may not be able to stop, so the boxes will catch me. All right, everybody? OK, I'm out, yeah? Stepping over is always the worst part because that's the point where you're putting all your trust in the equipment and everything. And however many times you've done it, there's always that little nagging doubt in the back of the mind. At this kind of height, with this kind of view, there's no doubt the adrenaline will be pumping and it's going to be quite nervy. The equipment's ready. Steve's ready. And he faces a terrifying 100-metre descent. A growing crowd of spectators can only watch and wait. All eyes on the tiny figure up in the sky. Ready, okay, go, 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 go! Oh, he's missed the safety boxes. Let's take another look at exactly what happened there. Steve sets off smoothly, carefully feeding the rope. As he descends the 100-metre drop, his speed is constantly increasing. He's constructed a stack of boxes nine deep to catch him in case his speed is out of control at the bottom. But the rope is off to one side of the boxes. If he can't use the braking system as he hurtles towards the pavement, he's in real trouble. He misses the boxes but just manages to stop himself. So has he broken the record? Steve, that was obviously very quick. <laughs> it was very quick. We were all scared for you as you came down there and all very impressed. But obviously now you want to know your time. I do indeed. I'm really happy to tell you that it's 8.99 seconds. Oh, that's fantastic. You that's set, really good. you set right. a new world record. Oh, fantastic. How are you feeling? Yeah, that's too yeah. Yeah. Go, 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 go. A new Guinness World Record, 100 metres in 8.99 seconds. Oh, close, wasn't it? 